everyone, this is Robin. Welcome to MyPinkStamper.com. I'm Robin, and today I'm going to be sharing a fun technique using our new shimmer paint that is featured in our, I can't stop doing that. Every time I hold one of these, I go like this. <laughs> it's featured in our holiday catalog. If you're new to my videos, welcome. I hope you like what you see today and have a lot of fun with me. Okay, so. What am I gonna start with? Okay, I'm gonna start with the fun technique today. I'm going to be featuring also the Happiness Surrounds stamp set that is only available in the month of November 2018. So if you're watching this in the month of November, you can purchase this while supplies last on my shopping page, mypinkstamper.stampinup.net. And I'm also using one of the framelits from the Snowfall exclusive framelit thinlet set that's available in the month of November as well. So I'll be using that in just a few minutes. But first, we're going to start with a super fun technique. And I have not done this technique in probably maybe 10 years. It's, uh, I wanted to give it a try. I haven't seen it done with the shimmer paint yet. So I thought, well, I'm gonna try and I'm gonna see if we can do it with the shimmer paint. And we can, so I'm so excited. You guys, I hope you're gonna have so much fun with this and just love it. It's, used to be called, and it's still probably called, the marbled background technique. And I'm gonna show you how to do it with our shimmer paint. It's so fun. So I'm using our glossy cardstock, and this is cut at three and a half inches by four and three quarters. And I'm gonna put this on some background paper. And then I'm using some rubbing alcohol. I'm using the 70% for this technique. And then I'm using some cotton balls. We don't carry cotton balls, so grab, go in your bathroom and see if you have any cotton balls. And then I'm using some of our Highland, a Highland Heather reinker. This is to reink and refreshen up our ink pads, our classic ink pads. But you can also use the reinkers for many techniques, including water coloring, shaving cream technique, and then what I'm going to be showing you today in just a few minutes. And then also I'm using the Vegas Gold. I just like saying that, Vegas Gold Shimmer Paint. See, if you guys have one of these, I bet you'll do this as well. It's so fun, I can't stop shaking it. Okay, so what we're going to do is have a background paper ready, put your glossy. This technique pretty much has to be done with glossy. I mean, there might be some other ways you can do it, but how I'm doing it today, you'll need the glossy cardstock. I'm going to open up my alcohol, rubbing alcohol. And I'm gonna get these all ready to go as well. It's a little bit messy, not too bad. It's not too bad, it's not like the shaving cream technique, which I was playing with earlier as well. That is really messy, this one is not so bad. Okay, so I'm just going to take my cotton ball and I'm just gonna go like this on my rubbing alcohol. And I, I'm gonna go ahead and close that. I don't want that to spill in my craft room. And then I'm going to take about four drops of the reinker, just kind of put them maybe maybe five drops on my cotton ball like this, and then I'm going to take just a little bit of the gold. I don't want it to kind of touch. I just want to put a little bit, like just in a dot, maybe a couple dots. Make sure you get some on your finger because you have to have ink and everything else on your finger when you craft, right? At least I do. <laughs> Every especially today. Today I'm catching up on videos because I'm going out of town to Orlando for Stampin' Up's big event. And I'm trying to catch up on videos and trying to be clean in my craft room is just a disaster. Okay, so this is the fun part. We have this all ready to go. Now we're just gonna daub up and down. So I'm not doing it yet, but I'm just going to, do you see how that, doesn't it look so cool? You just keep going. You don't wanna like run it across like that. You just go until it fills up the space. And then it's going to dry like this. It's going to look really super cool when it dries. And I'm just going to go back and forth. You might get it a little bit on your fingers and that's okay. It's a true sign of a stamper is that you have inky fingers and a messy craft room most of the time. Okay, so I did the whole entire thing. Now I'm just going to set this aside to dry. You don't need to seal it or anything like that. We used to, I used to be able to do this technique when we carried our metallic uh, ink pads and we had the metallic inkers so that's what made me want to give this a shot today to try to see if it worked but the metallic inkers didn't always dry um, 
so I had to, you had to spray it with hairspray and stuff. But I found with this, I didn't need to seal it or anything today. So I'm just going to set this aside and let it dry for like five or ten minutes. And then I will be back. Look at this background. Isn't this super cool? Just a fun new technique to add to your list of techniques. Um, and I'll be right back. Okay, this fun background is already dry. It's only been about five minutes, so it dries really fast. Probably thanks to the rubbing alcohol. All right, so we're going to finish this card. I'm going to pull out my Big Shot, and I am going to first grab my Highland Heather cardstock. This is just a little scrap piece, and I'm going to be using, if I can find it, this snowflake from Snowfall, which has a ton of different snowflakes and images that work with both of our exclusive stamp sets this month that are featured only in the month of November. What month are we in? Okay, I'll just do, I'll do this this many times just in case. Okay, I'm gonna pull this out, save that for my scraps. And I am going to be using the Big Shot die brush. And I like to use that just to quickly get my little pieces out. Isn't that so neat? I can just simply do that. And for the ones that don't come out, I just use either my Stampin' Piercer tool or my fingernail and I can just get the rest of these out really quick without poking my finger hopefully all right so I have my snowflake I'm going to set that aside and then I'm going to take a scrap of our gold foil sheet and I'm going to use the same cute beautiful where is that where's the top the beautiful Snowflake. I'll do four as well. Okay. And I'm going to save that. And that's all of the big shot work that I have. And I'm going to grab my die brush kit again and just gently run that through and then. Pull this out like this. All right, that one came out really super easy. So I have my gold, and now I can finish up my card. This is an, it's somewhat an easy card, but it has that really fantastic technique on it that is just so cool. I can't believe I've, I made it. It's one of those cards or projects that you're gonna look at and say, oh my goodness, I can't believe I made it. But you did, and it wasn't that hard at all. Okay, I have my window open today. So there is our neighbor flying his helicopter around in the background. I talked to him at church yesterday. He still hasn't given us a ride yet, so maybe we'll get to go on that helicopter soon. Okay, so this is a piece of our Highland Heather cardstock. It's five and a half by eight and a half inches. And so it's an eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock cut in half. And I'm just going to fold this with my bone folder. Actually, I have two bone folders right here. Look, I had a backup. I didn't realize I already grabbed one. Silly Robin. Okay, now for this, there is one stamp that we're going to be stamping. This is more of our glossy cardstock. This is cut at one inch by three, or four, one inch by four and a half, I believe. Four and three quarters. Four and three quarters. Okay, so one by four and three quarters. And I'm using our Highland Heather. No, I'm using Gorgeous Grape because it coordinates very well with the Highland Heather. So Gorgeous Grape ink pad, and I'm using Here's to New Beginnings. This is a great card you can give to friends and family for so many different occasions. Maybe they're starting out, they moved out of their house, they're in college, Maybe they're having a baby. Maybe they're getting married. Maybe they started a new job. There's all sorts of things. So I'm going to set that aside and let it set in. That one will dry pretty quickly. And I'm going to take this piece that we already cut. And I'm going to add this onto a piece of our gold foil sheet. This is cut at three and three quarters by five inches. And I'm going to add that on here. And it works perfectly with this gold. Look at that, it's just so gorgeous. 
You guys, it's just so gorgeous. I love it so much. I'm gonna add some of our snail adhesive and I'm just going to add that onto the piece of Highland Heather that I already folded in half. Now I'm thinking this is dry. We will see. I'm just gonna test it. Yep, it's dry. I'm going to put some adhesive on the back of this and I'm going to add this onto a strip of our foil, our, sorry, gold glimmer paper. This is cut at one and a quarter by, I think it's four and three quarters. Yeah, four and three quarters. This is going to go all the way across. And I forgot, our adhesive doesn't stick very well to the glimmer. Well, probably most adhesive. So I like to use the glue dots when I'm adding anything to my glimmer. Oops, I'm just gonna grab some of these. Perfect, that's great. The rest will be fine with the adhesive. I just highly recommend doing that. Okay, so I have that on here and it's overlapping just a little bit. So I'm going to take my paper snips and snip it, snip it off. And now we will use more of our snail. And I'm going to add this across right here on the bottom. And now let's layer up our pretty snowflake. So what I'm going to do is with the Highland Heather, I'm going to take a glue dot and I'm going to just stagger this so they're staggered like that. And then I'm going to turn this over. I'm gonna put my glue dots away. And I'm going to grab one of our Stampin' Dimensionals and peel off the back. They're two-sided ad adhesive foam so it pops it up. And then I'm gonna take our beautiful gold, what are these called? They're called gold adhesive something. I'm gonna put it on the screen with the item code and I'm gonna add that in the middle. And then I can take and make this a little more three-dimensional. Like lift it up a little bit, look at that. So I made the most simplest, cutest card with a brand new technique for you. Maybe some of you have seen this before, maybe some of you it's been a while and some have never seen it. So thank you so much for taking the time out to watch my video. If you like what you saw, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe so I can share more of my online videos with you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Don't forget to visit me at mypinkstamper.com. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.